All right, here goes Mike, favorite guy. This is the person we sending our kids to uh, his school. <laughs> Last time. But this child support thing, it's out of control, brother. Mm -hmm. You cannot let a woman destroy a man's life financially. Okay. Because the relationship is over. I agree. I mean, okay. I think black men need to organize, and we, you know, had this dialogue. Black men need to organize and force a change in legislation regarding child support. First okay. of all, if I can't see my child, you don't get my money. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ah, shit. We'll child, stop it. We'll... you don't get my money. That should be law. Because too many women are denying us the right to see our children and yet still benefiting from child support. Well, child that support court and cousin court is two separate number courts number and it shouldn't be. Um, I, I, I agree. Do you, so do you agree that if I don't get to see my kid, I don't have to pay for it? No, I mean, I, I, here's the thing. I think you should definitely kick it financially. Like, I, I'm not an anti-child support yeah. guy, right? But on the same token, I understand that child support is absolutely weaponized. Okay, yeah, right? yeah. That ain't no answer to my question what I asked you. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I got to hold your feet to the fire. <laughs> I said, because he made it very clear. If I am not getting in, in no, 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 no. I, I believe, I believe that you, I believe you do the right thing regardless. Okay, cool. Also, so yeah, let's you get keep to the paying if, if you don't see your kid. You keep paying. All right, cool. Bet. See, Mike on herself. This MS and not necessarily the children. So yes, child support should go on a card. Okay, it should go on a card, Art, and you have to use that credit card for all purchases for the child. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So that way, if the if the father wants to, Art, I should be able to log into my child support <laughs> uh, folder, my child support online profile, okay, and I should be able to see what you're buying with my money. Mm, yeah. Do what, you agree with that? Uh, Umar sounded like somebody who just got hit with a child support. Facts. <laughs> no, right now, no, I do not like. Do stop being. Do not hurt. Do not be a masochist and be concerned about who. Your ex is boinking or what she's spending money on that you send over there. Now, look, can you be concerned about who's around your kids? Absolutely. But I'm going to tell you, they don't care. And you're going to have to make sure in your mind that you don't care either. You just got to like the consequences for a uh, mess up just have to be severe. I think I'm not mad at this. This logic of, yo, I should be able to see what you're spending my, my money on. Uh, however, <laughs> hold on. No, no, no. Yeah. But I'm about. I, however. This is like cucking in a way. It's almost like, yo, you know it's gonna be painful. You yeah, know, it's you, like you can't get you're gonna be getting off to like, yo, she's spending my money on what? Why you buying him Skittles? Here's the thing. You know what I'm saying? If she if a woman has already weaponized child support against you, yeah, and she's already weaponized you being able to see her kid, dude, she is not gonna spend anything on that card for anything regard re, regarding the kid. It's, even if she's taking care of the kid. She's going to use her card to pay for all the kids stuff. And then, and then she'll have your card. So you're going to see her out with Fashion Nova, mm -hmm. <laughs> out at the restaurant, right? Like, like buying stuff on men's sites. Like, she's going to do it Absolutely. to fuck with you. Mike stole my point because that's exactly what I was going <laughs> to yeah. get to. You, But you know what? You know what kills that whole thing? Not saying it kills it. But what happens is now when we go to court, yo, look what she's sending the child support on. You know what I'm saying? I do think it has yeah. other things. The other thing I think needs to stop with child support is... Um, I don't like the fact that men can go into child support. Let's say I owe five hundred dollars and they about to put me in jail. I could pay twenty five dollars and not go to jail. I think that's something. And I'm not talking about the jail part. This yeah. whole thing of like I could just put a fraction of a fifth, a tenth of it on, and I can avoid consequences. Yeah. Of well, here's the thing. Child I don't support. think there should be any consequences if you do not pay your child support. I just don't. Right? Mm. I don't think you should lose your driver's license. I don't think you should go to jail. I don't think you should not be able to get a passport. No, I got to be some consequences. No, it, does, it doesn't. Because here's the thing, right? The consequences aren't making dudes pay. Right? The consequences are just punishing dudes for not paying. Well, you can't be a deadbeat out here. Yeah, but here's the thing. If a, if a man can end up with the consequences of this, and it could be no fault of his own, right? Like, I, I, I know I know a couple that was getting child support from the child's father, and the dude lost his job. The dude has a master's degree. He just lost his job, right? Yeah, so and he you, got behind on child support. You talking about the 10%. No, I think no, because like on, on. the vast majority of men are paying. The, excuse me, the vast majority of men that are on child support, yeah, yeah. are paying. No, child I'm talking support. about. I'm talking about the men who just don't. I'm talking about the deadbeats. Yeah, the, the deadbeats. No, no, no. They don't get to walk out here and just say, I'm "Yo, so I get the, I get to live my life." Because what happens is, I believe if there's no, I think most men are good men, and they are, they're probably not even on child support. I think the men that are on child support, there is a issue. It's a way that you get on child support. Let, let's get that out the way. Let's be very clear. And that is because y'all could not come to an agreement 
on your own. So the course had to get involved. Absolutely. And you chose the course. Cool. If those people who could not come into an agreement with each other now are on child support, I believe if we say, hey, we're going to strip all consequences of child support, that number of deadbeats will grow. I don't think so. Oh, I know so because you'll be agreeing with your woman. You yeah. don't even get there. Yeah, no, because I, I, I think I think the dudes who are gonna be deadbeats are deadbeats regardless. And, and here's the thing, right? We're, we're two guys that are not on child support. I'm Facts. divorced, not on it. You're married, not on Facts. it, right? So I we we can't really speak as we are have been in well, the court system. I'm speaking on yeah. this as somebody who my sister has a dude on child support. Yeah. Let's just put that out there. Yeah. Um, I shoot a lot of women who have men on child support. Them niggas go there, put $30 down on Owen Thousands and walk out of the court for free and disappear. Because that's what happens to y'all. I want everybody yeah. to understand. That's what happened to the niggas who don't pay child support. Yeah. They put pennies on the dollar. They just got to keep it under like whatever the amount is. No, the judges just say, yo, all right, how much can you give unless you're going to jail today? And then once they get out of jail, because it's not like they spending months and years in jail. Yeah. They get out of jail. They disappear. And so those men, I think if we say, hey, there's no consequences, then what happens when then... You know, th there's yeah. other issues. I and hear what you're saying. I think that's a little cart before the horse, right? Like, no. I, like, like I, I think like when a when a dude is that sorry, yeah, like you kind of got to sniff that out before you let him hit facts. where y'all well, be Yeah, facts. We like, we, but we well, we that. yeah, we we we're beyond all that. We, so that's what I'm yeah, saying. Like, I'm not even worried like, about not, that. They're not doing anything. Like, they're the type of man that I would expect to do this, right? Like, I don't. Here's the thing: if you added consequences, right, would mm -hmm. those guys do better? I don't think they do better. No, no, no. So I'm not, and I'm not saying yeah. I know what the consequence should be because yeah. I don't. I mean, and I don't know if jail is the answer. I don't think. I don't think jail. Matter of fact, let me put like this. I don't believe jail is the answer. Yeah. Um. But what ends up happening is if we just loosen the current consequences, I don't think it's going to say, all right, we're going to fix the child support problem because now we got more kids in the system. Now we got more. We're going to have to provide these women more resources. Um. And even. Even the dudes who got their chicks on child support. It was so funny. I was, uh, we supposed to be having, I'm supposed to be interviewing a guy soon. Hopefully it happens. And the dude was like, yo, he had three kids with his wife. She came in a room one day, said, I'm out. Yeah. You get to keep the kids. Put me on child support. And dude was like, have not seen her or gotten anything. And she just so far fucking behind in child support. Yeah, women are way worse deadbeats on child support than men. Yeah, but they represent a small... So I'm saying, yeah, that's a small I'm not, portion. But yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're bigger deadbeats. I mean, look, I get it. But here's the thing, right? I, I think I think sometimes we what we misunderstand in this country is sometimes there's no refuge from a terrible decision, right? Like right. There, there's no one that can say... Like, it's just a bad decision... And there's consequences that you suffer from that decision and you have to learn how to be content and make do. And I know that I know that sucks. Right. Because, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, you know, in, in in my case, you know, like even when it comes to things with like, you know, my my son and, and, and my son's mother mm -hmm. where, you know, it's like like I, I paid for something. She was supposed to pay. Half, I didn't even ask for it. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, with, the, with you know, he had the after school program come up. I'm probably going to end up just paying that. Right. But, you know, she gets his haircut. Right. She don't never ask me for that. Right. So I think. I think there's a there's a phase where most of us don't work through, right? Like me and my son's mother, like again, let's let's get it not get it twisted. We were not friends, mm -hmm. right? Even when we still was like doing, you know, married stuff and we weren't married, we still weren't friends, right? Yeah, yeah. It was just it was a familiarity that was there, right? But at some point, we had to be like, all right, the the kid cannot suffer the consequences for us not being able to be adults about how we treat one another. Facts. And I think too many I think too many men and women that the first thing that you do when you're no longer with the other person is create a level of consequences because everybody's trying to get their lick back. And Thanks. at some point, someone just has to stop throwing the ball back and forth, set it down, let it calm, and then be like, all right, let's get into this work. So I, I get it. And this is the reason why I'm saying that there should not be any consequences when men don't pay child support is because I think sometimes you just made a bad decision and you need to stew in it. And if you just oh hell no, and, I don't agree. No, with no, that no. Bullshit. Because if you hell keep no. because if you keep going back, no, no. Hell because if no. you keep going back and saying, all right, I'm trying to punish the other person, I'm trying to punish the other person, you're going to be 18, 24 years into it where you're still thinking about a person that you fucked 24 years ago. I am not in agreement with yo. You made a bad decision. And you just gotta live with that. You gotta you well, no, 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 no you ain't gotta on, be with it. No, no, no. You ain't gotta be with it. You're gonna live with it though. No, you well, you already living with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna so live with I'm it. I'm not I'm not going there. I'm not gonna tell somebody, I'm not gonna tell the boy who got exposed 
um, faced expulsion in school, got kicked out of school. Yo, you know what? You should never be allowed in an educational program again. No, I'm not doing that to him. No, no, but he's going to have to go through whatever steps no, it takes absolutely. for him to get back in but there. But we don't keep punishing him for the rest of his life. We don't punish we're not, his We're not punishing her. You want to talk or you want me to talk? I'm talking. Okay, when you talk, <laughs> I'm just saying we're not you can pu- talk to yourself because yeah, I keep talking. You keep I'm cutting just saying, me off. I'm saying we're not punishing her. No. Mike, if a young lady has a child by a deadbeat and you say I'm never going to punish that deadbeat for being a deadbeat, yes, you are punishing her and her child for the rest of their lives by um, financially, emotionally, you punishing other people who have to put money in to take care of that kid. All yes. that is happening regardless, though. Mike, no, it's not. No, it's not. I don't know what wait, the fuck. Wait, wait, you, hold, you, on, hold, on. hold on, hold on. You, you literally you just said these dudes are not taking care of the kids, right? They aren't. But I'm saying if you don't, well, here's my thing. All right, if I'm not taking care of my kid and I see no punishment, then I disappear. I think the number of men, guess who's getting punished? The number of men, those number of men will increase. Sorry, it will increase. That deadbeat, I'm not paying shit, niggas. That group of men grows. Okay, take 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 the deadbeat dude that you know right now that you're thinking of in your head, right? Okay. All right. Do you think what consequence do you think you could give that dude that would force him to financially take care of his child? Um, if you could do any punishment in the world, see, literally I'm, any punishment. I'm not saying I know the punishment because I don't think jail is the answer, but. Right now, let's say that deadbeat dude right now gets a judgment of a million dollars right now. They not, no consequences is, hey, you know what? You 100000 back child support. You just got awarded a million dollars. We not going to garnish this check. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, I... I, that's, I so we saying I no consequences, saying, but I mean, that's but what you, happens. But that's so far outside of what's likely Yo, to happen for a dude that's a terrible dude. No, no, no. I don't know that does not happen. I can't say that. No, I mean, I'm I just saying... We, I, we, we, we getting in the fairy tale land Yeah, now, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's so no, far out of the bound. You shouldn't be $100,000 in back child support and thinking you're going to get a new Benz tomorrow. No. That shit don't happen. You should show up. They say, yo, you know you have a lien against you. You have a judgment against you for $100,000. We cannot approve for you to come get a G-Wagon. Sorry. No, because that's what's not happening out here. That's why I'm saying it should be no, hey, free things. You know what? I don't, you know what? I got a bird pregnant. I ain't got to take care of this kid. Because that's what a lot of men going to do. It's like, yo, you know what? She in a whole different state. She a bird. She pissed me off. You know what? You ain't getting your child support. That's what happens. No, I know that dead beats exist, Gab. What I'm saying is, I'm like, th- this this idea. Here's the thing. I think too many dudes have too many dudes that are not dead beats have it weaponized against them. Oh, I'm not talking about Yeah, yeah. So, first of so, all, dead beats represent like the smallest percent yeah, of Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm like, so, so I'm like, I'm only so when I say when I when percent. I say like, yo, like there's nothing we can add. So, and here's the thing: if if we can't add it, I mean, I've told y'all before, I'd be a libertarian if they weren't racist, right? <laughs> I, I I am a hundred percent for repealing a ton of laws off the books because I yeah, think yeah. I think that the punishments are negligible, especially if you can afford the punishments. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's not even really a deterrent. So that, what I'm saying is like, you know, when, when it comes to it, I'm like, look, I get what you're saying, right? Yo, if you got a hundred thousand in back child support, yes, you should probably have a lien against you. That probably should prevent you from buying, you know, a new a G wagon, <laughs> right? Right? I, I'm not disagreeing. With that, but what I'm saying is, if you took that away and that person could get the G Wagon, right? Mm-hmm. It doesn't make anybody else's life harder or worse, right? Because that dude that can't get the G Wagon, let's say if he if he if he could afford the G Wagon, what is he gonna do? He's just gonna get an LLC, he's just gonna get a company name, he's gonna get it in his mama name. It's gonna get done, right? So it's like, yo, we're creating these extra steps where it's like we we have sucked ourselves into issues that we won't get out of because we want to see someone else punished. That's the point that I'm trying to make here. Hey, I'm with uh, I'm not willing to hold shit over people's heads for the next 30 years. Or I don't believe in your kid suffering for 18 years because his dad is rolling rolling around in new bins. Why? Because he could just do it just because it's a fucked up situation. It is a very fucked up. But I ain't going to say, yo, what you did for 15 minutes 30 years ago should keep affecting your kid while they trying to go to college. You shouldn't be out here. Shit. Even if we make these niggas volunteer. (laughs) <laughs> I don't give a fuck I just don't think It should be like Whatever but The volunteer I, I, I would be mad at And like I said I don't know What the answer is That's, yeah. I don't know I don't But I will say this I don't believe it's jail I just don't Yeah 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 I think Cause we just locking Black men up For doing dumb shit At that point Also um, Before we go to the next thing I think it should be Punishment for people That hold their kids uh, For women that hold Their kids against They not uh, allowing Their dads to see the yeah, kids Yeah yeah I think that should be something I think that is nasty Because what happens is too many women get missing. They sons and daughters don't know. They think they dad ain't shit. And then there's things in play and you can't find it. 
You know, you can't find the kid. Excuse me. I got started speaking in uh, full sentences here. <laughs> um, I'll be listening back and I'm like, damn, I just skipped the end of this sentence. Um, sports takes. Stefan Diggs. <laughs> 